Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and guess what? I have that one dream performance sedan that many people are hoping will be under their tree for Christmas, and it's this vehicle right here. What is it? It's a 2024 Cadillac CT5 V Blackwing. But before we get into the supercharged real wheel drive performance sedan, let's Talk about what the heck is going on here. It seemed that for years, if you wanted a performance sedan, you would go the German Euro route. Well, guess what? When Cadillac first came out with their V series of vehicles, it really stunned the auto industry, especially with the previous example of this vehicle, which was the CTS V. Fast forward to model year 2024, we are on the brink of Cadillac going full EV with their lineup. And this truly is, they've said it, this is the last hurrah for the internal combustion engine. So what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for that performance sedan, do you wanna go Blackwing with that supercharged V8? Or do you maybe wanna stick to the German Euros and either go BMW M5 or AMG E63S? Let's go ahead. Let's dive into this sinister black on black on black 2024 Blackwing and find out. Right off the bat, the color. I personally would never own another black car. I've learned that lesson, but boy oh boy, does it look sinister on this CT5e Blackwing. Now, the big talk of the town was at the front of the business, you're gonna get that extra width. And you could see it with the way the flared front fenders flow up and over the wheel openings. Of course, you're gonna get full LED headlights. And I really love the way they do their daytime running lamp. It flows all the way into the lower pod, but as you can see, this also houses our LED turn single. You do have functional corner air intakes for brake cooling, and you're gonna get a nice size front splitter to give us that downforce. Now, if you want the Cadillac that actually has the most downforce of any production Cadillac before it, you would go CT4V Blackwing. You actually could get extra aero pieces that this vehicle doesn't have. Now, as we come across that center stage, that Cadillac badge, so much history going back to the early 1900s. You got your forward facing camera, special V grill. And if you notice, you see all the little kind of indentations on each of the little points? That's to help drag cool air in through the front, you got a forward facing camera right underneath the Cadillac badge. And I like the way that they went with this gunmetal gray finish to the V series grill top and bottom. That's an easy way to know that this is a Blackwing CT5V is gonna be from that V series grill. No matter if you're looking at a 4V Blackwing or even the supersize Escalade V. Now on the lower portions, I love the way they accentuate more air intake induction. We have the areas to bring for all of our heat exchangers on both sides. Plus it just gives an extra aggressive look. I love it when it's form and function because sometimes we just do function. Sometimes we just do form. You're getting a nice combo deal right at the front. Of course you have your 20 years badge. Nice to see with the V goes all the way back to 2003 when the first V vehicle was ever produced. And remember, there's been some really interesting ones. The ATSV, you got the CTSV, lots of great examples. There was even once upon a time when you could get a convertible V car. Now, at the front, you got the aggression. One of the things that Dream Giveaway did to add more aggression is you have this really, really nice satin black stripe on the hood. It actually has the black wing name etched into it, really like that touch. And then you'll notice some blue, some darker blue accentuating both sides of that medium size bulge hood. This isn't a big bulge, it's a medium size, mild to medium. I think the one thing that a lot of the V fans really wanted was some type of heat extractor. Because if you look on the previous generation, the heat extractor really gave it that extra performance look, but also helped drag hot air from underneath the hood. 
This one does not have it, but I will show you where they did some extra air ducting that the previous generation doesn't have. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. Of course, you're gonna get unique wheels to the Blackwing, the CT5V Blackwing. I love the way it's a nice multi-spoke design all the way around. You'll notice the dark blue on the calipers. That's optional. And that's why Dream Giveaway went with the dark blue stripes accentuating on the hood was to match those two things. The dark blue, that's a six piston caliper. Brembo, of course, you got two piece rotors. That rotor is over 15 inches in diameter. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this front wheel? Up front, you have a 19 inch wheel, 275 on the width of the tire. And of course we have Michelin Pilot Sport 4S performance spec tires. You're gonna get MagnaRide suspension which is actually 4.0 MagnaRide. It's the fourth iteration of the MagnaRide suspension, which GM came up with that technology all the way back in 1990. And then just really, like I said, the way the car sits from the factory, you don't need lowering springs on this thing. And wait until we take it for a little on-throttle spin, it corners nice and flat. Now coming down the side, you will get your V-Series badge. And one thing that they added on the 2023 models is the Blackwing, and that's what continues for model year 2024. It's just a little extra touch to let people know that this is the top dog. This is not a CT5V, because you can still get a 5V. This is the top dog, the Blackwing. Now, as we swing around, remember how I was telling you about extra aero that this vehicle has that the previous generation doesn't? It has functional fender vents on that lower portion to drag the air down the side of the vehicle. You'll also notice that Dream Giveaway added the satin black stripe with the black wing name, and it's actually a wing design. So as Steven drops back, you'll be able to hopefully pick up. It's kind of hard because it's black on black, but I do like that extra touch, something so subtle, but when you see it, you're like, damn, Cadillac should have done that from the factory. Now up top, you are gonna get a panoramic sunroof. And of course, because the car is painted black, it ma matches perfectly throughout the, hood, the roof. We got nice tinted windows. And then of course, coming towards the rear, we need to talk about the rear tire. So you have 19 inch wheels, all four corners. You'll see we got Brembo calipers. They're four piston on the back. And then one thing to know is that we have more rubber to meet the road, 305, 305, because this is rear wheel drive. And yes, the M5, you could get all wheel drive. The AMG E63S, you get all wheel drive. There's just something so balanced when you're driving a rear drive vehicle through the twisty bits. I can't wait to share it with you when we go on throttle, but nice to see a little bit more rubber to meet the road. You have electronic limited slip diff out back. So many different levels of traction control with their performance traction system. And of course you got the data recorder, the performance data recorder, which is another nice touch. Now, when you come around the back end, they finish it off super clean. You have a nice trunklet spoiler. This one does not have the optional carbon fiber. I would have went the optional carbon fiber because it gets a little bit higher kick up, but nice, nice body colored. You got the V badge, the black wing badge. Like I said, this black wing portion was added in 2023 model year. Love the way they did the LED lighting on the back and then dropping it like it's hot. Boy, oh boy, is it hot and sexy. You have that quad tip GM performance exhaust. Make it quiet, keep the peace, or you know what? Piss everybody off and make her nice and loud with that functional rear diffuser. And I love the way they did the tips. Nice shape, dark gloss black finish, really looks super clean. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see the last of its kind in supercharged V8. All right guys, we got the hood popped. Of course you have hood struts holding open the hood. Before we even talk about the engine, let's talk about this strut top brace. It's got the V badge on it. And boy, oh boy, is it beefy to stiffen up the front end of the vehicle. You'll notice our supercharger, unique to the Blackwing, different from what is in a C7 Corvette Z06, my very own ZL1 1LE. Love the way they gave it a specific supercharger top to it with the builder's name. Nice to see that. The one thing I wish they didn't do was put this cover here. I mean, it's nice that it has a Cadillac badge, but this thing is so beautiful. Let that supercharger uh, shine. Down below, if you look, you can see the massive size 
of course, throttle body, and then we have this intake, and there's your air box there for all that nice cool air to get into that engine. But what are we talking about horsepower wise? You have it, that's called the LT4 V8. It's built, hand assembled, right in Bowling Green, Kentucky at GM Performance Center. 668 horsepower, 659 pound-feet of torque out of a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. They should have put this damn engine in the ZL1 collector's edition. I don't know why they didn't do that, but it is made it to either a six-speed manual, Tremec of course, or a 10-speed automatic. If you're in the 10-speed automatic like this one is, zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds, quarter mile in 11.2 seconds, and I hope you're sitting down, top speed 205 miles per hour. Let's think about that for a second. When you're traveling 200 miles per hour, you're traveling the length of a football field every freaking second. The car weighs 4,092 pounds, and I'm not even gonna talk about MPGs because who gives a damn when it comes to a vehicle like this, but definitely one of those hoods that you could pop while you're in your garage or at a Cars and Coffee event or a track day event and feel very, very proud of. But why don't we go ahead? She looks good. Let's hear what she sounds. Let's start her up and hear the sound of this Blackwing. <laughs> Right, guys we are inside this 2024 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing I know you're saying to yourself well Joe I want this car I have fallen in love with them when you did the first review I think BMWs look so funky now I want nothing to do with them Mercedes has never done it for me but how much is this so the good news is remember you can win this from dream giveaway garage hence the name of their organization giveaway the way you could do it is have a greater chance by spending $25 or more you'll get double the giveaway chances if you use the radies rise promo code but remember I don't get paid to say that nor do I accept any money from dream giveaway I'm just here to go on throttle and share this I want you riding shotgun with me but MSRP if you're really wondering for this vehicle is hundred five thousand dollars let's see what you get for the money to the door panels, I love the materials. Soft touch, real carbon fiber, Alcantara, and just so you know, Alcantara is the name of the company, not the fabric. It's a microfiber suede material, but Alcantara is the company that originally came up with it. We have the AKG premium sound system, nice aluminum speaker grill cover, love the contrast stitching, and then you have a decent door pocket there, big enough, for a Whopper, a large onion ring, and a bottle of Pepsi to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, soft touch material, carbon fiber. I would have liked to have seen the 20th anniversary of the V, have that badge here, that would have been a nice touch. And then you slide on in, what do you have? That 10 inch infotainment system. Yes, you get bigger infotainment systems in the other vehicles that I mentioned, but who cares? Because watch this, you hit the V bat, button on the steering wheel we got our different modes including v mode and you could easily adjust all of the settings very easily and then it wants me to shift but i'm not ready to shift yet because i'm i'm here talking to you so you got your performance traction management engine sound steering all of that could be easily configured through this system i like that touch working our way down nice metal switch gear for your ac control Heated seats, ventilated seats, three stages a piece, which are nice. Wireless charging. You do have a mode selector switch here as well. This one has the 10 speed automatic, or you could get a six speed manual, more carbon fiber, direct drive control knob. Open this up, two cup holders, and here's your key fob. You'll notice the blue. The blue matches the color of the calipers. Spin it around, you do get remote start. That's a lot of fun when people aren't paying attention, especially at the local car shows. Leather on the armrest. I could open it this way. 
The zonk is I can't open it your way, but I can tell you, you have a USB-C, USB-A, a 12 volt, a place to hold your phone, and you have enough room in here. I would easily say 14 Twinkies. Just don't put 15 in here because you're gonna bust cream all over this beautiful interior. Speaking of interior, leather performance, one piece back seats, love the way it's got the nice materials, the textures, the piping. You do have bolstering, which is really nicely done, top and bottom, full power assist, and this does have the optional red seat belts. That's worth another five horsepower. Alcantara all over the headliner. And then of course we have that power shade. Nicely open, opens really quick too for that panoramic roof. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I wanna show you behind this special steering wheel in this special Cadillac. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. You do get a nice tasteful aluminum sill plate with that V badge that's gonna light up at night. Great pedal box right out of Cadillac's prototype race car, aluminum dead pedal, brake pedal, and throttle. Got all the seat controls, very easy to get to. Love the way you can adjust even the lumbar and the bolstering. I'm six feet tall. I feel absolutely fantastic behind the wheel of this car. Speaking of the wheel, leather all the way around. You got the red top dead center, more carbon fiber. This allows us to do our performance traction management system all with the twist of a knob. We got our V-Series button, and then we have metal paddles to go up and down the 10-speed automatic. And then of course that digital display, I have it set up in track mode, but you could reconfigure it four different ways. But look at the way you could adjust the actual traction control, just like a freaking race car. I have a head-up display and a bunch of nice contrast stitching in here. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat because I wanna go on throttle in this V8 Beast. All right, guys, back seat time. And when we're comparing this to the M5 and the AMG E63S, this is a little smaller. It is a little smaller. It falls into this weird gray area. I'm a little close to the headliner, but they do carve it out just enough, like a, like a pumpkin for Halloween when you're making a jack-o'-lantern, but I'm still pretty close to the headliner. I do like the backs of the seats, the Alcantara all over the back of the seat with the V-badge. And you do get some AC vents, which are nice. Two AC vents, a 12 volt, and one USB-C. Everybody gets a red seatbelt. So I have a red seatbelt, red seatbelt. Each one is not worth an extra five horsepower. It's just one gets you the five horsepower. The other are just so that everybody can feel the same and not argue with one another. Good news is nobody's arguing on where they're gonna put their arm. You got a nicely padded armrest two cup holders, and I love the way they do the freaking stitching all the way through this whole vehicle. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the trunk, because I'm ready to go on throttle in this supercharged Caddy. All right, guys, the great thing about this being a sedan, you get a nice usable trunk, just hit the button, it floats right up. Plenty of room in here. You'll notice that we have the Maroni, that's what they call a window sticker. It has that price, like I said, $105,000. We have the rear mounted battery, trying to get some weight to the back of the vehicle. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much room do I have? You have about 13 cubic feet of space and those seats fold down. And no, I don't even have to check. There is no spare underneath the cargo liner. That's the way it works. When you want a performance vehicle, they usually just give you a can of flat fix and an electric air compressor. But while we go ahead, we're comparing this to some pretty tough competition from BMW and AMG. Let's go ahead, let's go on throttle in this Blackwing and see how she rips. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 CT5V Blackwing. I have it put in track mode. I've adjusted our performance traction management system and I am ready to rip and roar. Now, what I'm gonna do is for the first few minutes, I'm gonna leave it in automatic shift mode with the 10 speed. Cadillac says that they actually compared it to Porsche's mighty PDK and they feel that it really is tough competition for that dual clutch transmission. Remember, this 10-speed automatic has a conventional torque converter, but remember, we have that awesome performance launch control, really easy to do, left foot on the brake, right foot on the throttle, and then you release that brake. Are you ready? Because I'm freaking ready. Here we go. On throttle, yeah! <laughs> Woo! This thing is...
is like a Tomahawk cruise missile launched off of a freaking battleship in the Navy. That's how hard this thing hits. And we're not even an all-wheel drive, remember? A vehicle like a BMW or an AMG product. This is real-wheel drive, but with those sticky 305s, those Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires doing a damn good job getting the power to the ground. Very, very impressive. Now, what's nice is, is when you're going slow and you're just accelerating, you can hear a little bit of supercharger whine, but not much. If you're used to a Hellcat or a Hellcat Red Eye or a Dodge Demon, you're gonna you're gonna be sad the amount of traction control because there really isn't uh, super traction control. The amount of um, supercharger whine, there's just not a lot. Um, so that's the one big zonk that I have. But other than that, this thing does a great job getting the power to the ground. Love the size of it. Love the size, and if you're ready, I'm ready. Oh, right, here we go, yeah! Fires those freaking ships off like a Gatling gun. Getting on those beefy brakes. Nice! Yeah! Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Look at the way it just balanced that Magna Ride suspension doing the deal wow it really does a great job all four corners transferring all that information to these seats which are very comfy i should say but also has some really good bolstering i'm going to go ahead and pull back on the shifter that lights up the m what does that mean that means we're going to manually shift with the paddles a little bit of, I just want a little bit more supercharger wine for Pete's sake, just a little bit more. But I love the snap, crackle, pop out of that exhaust. And we're not even eating Rice Krispies right now. I wouldn't let you eat anything in my car in this Cadillac. It's so beautiful. Are you ready? We're gonna do launch control again. Oh, throttle, yeah! <laughs> mm, fast shifts, purposeful shifts. Holds a line so well. And the nice thing is the downshifts are just as killer as the upshifts. You got a nice large gear indicator in the center, letting you know what gear you're in. Are you ready? Because I'm freaking ready. I love this. On throttle. <laughs> Woo! On the brakes. Nice downshifts. This thing is just so amazing when it comes to the balance. When you tip it in, it just handles so superbly. So superbly. All right, guys. Having a good time out here for sure. We're going to get on it again. You ready? Second gear. On throttle. Here we go. Nice. That sound. Oh, my God. It's, it shouldn't be legal to have a vehicle like this on the road because it does everything so very well. We got four doors, plenty of seating, seats are comfortable, the amenities, the leather, the carbon fiber, all the goodies, all the goodies. And you got that LT4 supercharged V8 underneath the hood. That's really the best part of the whole shabam. But getting to everything is well within reach. I love the way it's got your performance traction management knob right on the wheel. We have our uh, serial number on the bottom of the steering wheel, which is nice. Are you ready? Second gear. On throw. Here we go. On the brakes. Nice. Nice. Here we go. Give it. how balanced this thing is that's the magna ride suspension doing the business doing the deed <laughs> and the best part is you don't have to white knuckle the steering wheel it's that balanced of a vehicle where you don't have to white knuckle anything it just really communicates so well the one thing to just be aware of 
is that when you get close to red line, you need to be ready to shift because it does not like to be shift right at red line. So just something to remember. But it's cool that you have the traction management system that I could actually go into wet mode with the rain coming out and it will actually, you know, make sure that the traction is there working with you and not just cutting power. And I think that's the best part I like about this car is that it doesn't just cut power. The traction control system is meant to work with you, not against you. But crazy how Florida weather can change on a dime. But we're gonna get back to Dream Giveaway Garage and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been one hell of an on throttle, supercharged kind of day here at Dream Giveaway Garage. I definitely wanna thank Ryan, Lori, and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 2024 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. Remember, this is paired with an Escalade V, which we've already done that review as well. So I'll leave the link of that one at the end of this review. And if you spend $25 or more and use the Radies Rides promo code, they will double your chances for winning this giveaway. And that's something, like I said, that Dream Giveaway just wants to help the Radies Rides family members try to win. I don't get paid to say that, and they don't pay me to the review, do the review of the vehicle. But let me know what you think. 5V Blackwing. BMW M5, AMG, which way are you gonna go? Let me know down in that comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button, I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up. SFL, what the hell does that stand for? Stephen Flood, loving the photography. That's what the L means. He loves photography, he loves cameras. He actually has a collection of 2,100 vintage cameras, including the original box camera from Kodak. So show Steven some love, especially if you like photography. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.